you to talk about the start of the offseason program and how important it is for, for you all this year? Uh, you know, first day was good. Definitely important. Just trying to, uh, you seeing a lot of new faces and everybody just trying to build chemistry leading up to, you know, our phase two going in. So everything was good. And then just how important was it for you last year? First year you didn't have an offseason program. And then last year seemed like it helped you to go into the season on a, on a different plane. Uh, this actually helps. You know, I mean, miracles for sure. Like uh, my rookie year and then last year, we didn't really have a real off season. We had to do Zoom. So not being able to see the faces and, um, you know, what I mean, not being in the same meeting room, just, seeing, you know, being with the guys just was a different ball game. But now we, you know, what I mean, get to see each other, get to lock in, ask questions, you know, what I mean, and know about each other a little bit more. Is it weird in the building today without Matt? Say it again. Is it weird in the building at all today? Different without Matt and so many other guys. Uh, know, that, that aren't here anymore. I mean, just you know, like I said, just got so many new faces. Um, I wasn't even really focused on any of that. Um, but you know, they, those guys that we that are going now definitely will be missed. But um, they all helped set the platform of what we got now to carry on the legacy of the Falcons. So we good. Was Grady here today? No, he wasn't. I like some of the new faces, Casey Hayward. Um, how excited are you to, to work alongside him? And um, we talked to him, I think, a couple weeks ago, and he had some really nice things to say about you. So yeah. what are you excited about playing with him? Uh, I'm definitely excited to uh, you know, play alongside with him. Um, just the, the, the knowledge and everything he has, um, me being a young player and being able to, you know what I mean, take, get up under his wings, ask questions, know about the game of football, knowing about little things, going into games. and. You know what I mean? Just being able to pick his brain and then also just being able to vibe with him outside of football. You know, like I said before, we got the same agent, so it ain't my first time meeting him. Just at a more personal level is better for me. He said when we talked to him, he was like, I think AJ is one of the most talented guys I've ever played with. And when you hear that from him, who's he's played with a lot of guys, what does right. that make you feel? It made me feel real good, you know what I mean? Just definitely coming from him because he's himself just, you know, played with so many good people and he done played every position in the defense in the secondary and uh, he got so much knowledge, you know what I mean? And, and himself just being a great player over the years, uh, me growing up watching him play, um, not, not growing up to make it seem like he old, but <laughs> yeah, just being able to see him play when I was in the league, um, Definitely is something I'm looking forward to this season, just being with him. You off to a pretty good start to your career, three picks last year. What were some of the things you learned from year one to year two and some of the things you look to improve on starting early this year, you know, with the, with the stuff you're working on today? Uh just getting the playbook down from a more from a standpoint where I can um understand everybody's position just so I can play faster and uh you know be that ultimate leader on the defense. Salaries usually as a quarterback, see wide receiver. Denzel Ward got a huge contract. You know, how do you feel about that? Being up that you're off to a good start to your career, what could be waiting for you down the road? Yeah, uh, you know, congrats to him for that uh, that that big deal. Um, you know, I mean, if I just keep playing my part, doing my role, everything it just just go hand in hand. So, uh, not looking too far, just doing what I got to do now to you know, what I mean, get to that point. AJ, besides like Grady and Dion, I guess, you're one of the guys who's been here the longest on defense. Is it That's weird? Crazy. That's that is crazy. <laughs> I don't Dion. I'm like, what? That don't even make sense. It is crazy though. I mean, what what is that like? We were, you know, it was like you said, two years ago we were, at, we were doing the welcome to Atlanta stuff on Zoom right. and now you're one of the guys who's been here longest. How, what's that like? Uh I don't know. It just time flies moving fast. Um I'm just taking it day by day, just you know what I mean, coming in. And just going to work, you know what I mean? Trying to make my presence feel. You know, y'all are going to play the, the full 17 game schedule. People on the outside will have their opinions. How do you look at this team? How, how you know, the, the talent you guys bring back this year after losing guys like, like a Matt Ryan, you know, who have, who have the, the track record they do? All right. You know, just building. Um, everybody just coming together and uh, just doing their part. And, uh, you know what I mean? Just getting the ball rolling. Everybody just, uh, just coming in, taking care of their bodies, just building chemistry, you know, just winning the day in the locker room and meetings, and it all come together. And I know last year we talked a little bit about kind of you taking steps forward from a leadership perspective. Do you feel like you have to do that more now, considering 
I mean, half of the question is a bit about new faces and who's not here. And, right. Like, is that is there more of you having a take on this on that? Uh, you know, just just my presence, my play, and uh, you know, just being like y'all said, I guess the older guy in the, in the on the team. Um, just really just going in day by day, like I said, just stacking each day, making sure I'm accountable before I hold somebody else accountable. Uh, it's, you know, the main thing of becoming a leader. Um, I'm not that much of a very vocal leader, but uh, just doing everything the right way and, you know, saying something would need to be said and all those things will uh, carry a long way. What are your hopes for the, um, you know, group, the revamped secondary with, you know, Harmon and Moreau uh, not here? They both played over 1,000 snaps last year. How are y'all hoping to put that uh, unit back together up back there with some of the new folks? Uh, just like I've been saying, just every winning the day, just going in each day right now and um, taking notes, um, building chemistry in the back end, and uh, – it all it all just come together. I don't really know how to how to say it, but just time time to do that. And um, when we get out there on the field, be able to communicate, talk with each other, um, get the ball rolling quick. What do you think about Coach P's uh, just a scheme and what he allows you guys to do with you all's abilities? Uh, his it's it's user friendly. Um, he definitely allows us to uh to 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 be the guys to communicate and call the shots on the field. He just gives us a uh. A, a platform where we could do that, and um, definitely just look forward to getting back in uh, the building with him and just tapping in on, in our, on our defense. Yeah, that couple guys in the draft, um, Malik Willis, who played with him, and uh, uh, you know, just Booth. What are, what are you know? Are you surprised that Malik's one? Of the, they're talking about the top quarterback now, and uh, Booth is you know one of the top <coughs> corners that are coming out in this draft. Yeah, both good. Both both my guys. You know, I mean, I know Booth. Um, from Clemson and Malik, my high school quarterback. But, uh, you know, they both great guys. Um, I don't even know your question for real, but just, just, just speak. I mean, he's surprised that yeah, just, like just. Auburn, and now he's, you know, doing yeah, I, but I'm saying like me just knowing Malik I already, I know he a competitor. Like everything he did at Liberty, I'm not surprised because I just know what he, what, what he, what type of player he was and. I wish, you know what I mean, Auburn used him the right way. But Booth, Booth, Booth definitely uh, is a complete corner. You know what I mean? He can tackle, got great ball skills, uh, know how to pick up on the uh, plays quick. And um, just to compare, they both got good um, um, mental skills, you know what I mean? Know how, to, know how to fight through adversity, and they both just winners. That's good. A good bit. Like, do you have a relationship with him? Yeah, um, I talked to him before the uh, combine, just letting him know, you know what I mean, a few things get, to get ready for. And uh, just to be him, don't try to be nobody else. And uh, don't try to fake an image of yourself, but just be yourself and just be the best version of yourself when you, you know, talking to coaches and all that, like that. What conversation's been like with Malik over the last month or so? Has he been asking me about the process? Has he been asking me about, like, what next week could be like? Or? Uh, we we actually had a few of those conversations, but it was only so much knowledge I can give him because he, you know, what I mean, he's a quarterback. Yeah. So they, I'm, his 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 image is different from mine coming in with being, you know, the quarterback just coming right in. I know it's way different from my position, so I didn't really have that much for him. But I told him a few things. I mean, it wasn't nothing crazy. I just gave him the real. What'd you tell him? Hmm? What'd you tell him? Just like I told Booth, just be yourself, and uh, that was really it. Like that was all I could really tell him because I know his his situation is gonna be a little bit different from mine. AJ, what have you been personally focused on this offseason? Uh, just getting my body right, get my body right right now. Just uh, taking care of my body and uh, also you know doing some drills, keeping my body uh right on the field and off the field. Just taking care of it. Vocal leader that really is kind of your presence. That right. that's how you lead. But do you have any advice for those younger guys, especially coming into a situation where this franchise has a lot of change and there's a lot of new faces? Right. Um. I do just just to be open. Uh. Be a team player. Don't be selfish. Uh. If we need you, if the team, if uh, the Falcons need you to do anything, special teams, defense. Uh. 
just go go all in for it and you know just try to uh you know what I mean help the team out cuz we need them obviously if the, you know what I mean if we asking for any type of help or assistance Fan of the jug machine, you out there trying to work on interceptions and hands. That's that's that's, that's what I got to get on this year. Uh, the jug machine, got to be my best friend this year. <laughs> Are there other guys uh, in college that you kept an eye on or that you have relationships with, or guys that have impressed you that are in this this class? Uh, not really. Not not, not that I have uh, caught. You know any relationships with nothing like that, but uh, I know a few guys. Anything else? I know. I know the the you know everybody's got a mock draft. There are a bazillion of them, but a lot do say Malik in them to the Falcons, or at least discussing as a possibility. Have you given them any like intel on Atlanta? Or are you paying attention to those saying like, hey, my my high school teammate could end up here if things shake out? Am I giving who into Malik Willis? I wish, but <laughs> nah. I, I'm just, I'm just letting them go through the process. I, it's not my, my uh, place or my call. So uh, wherever he go, they gonna get a great person. You know, what I mean, great leader, great winner. So it's not my call, but wish the best for him. Heading into when, heading into when you got taken, did you pay any attention to any of that mock draft, draft talk stuff, or did you find a way to tune all that out? How did you go through that process? Uh, you definitely can't not see it. But you do have to tune it out by just, uh, you know, just going in, working, uh, just going through the whole process the right way, and it all take care of itself. Anything else? Just to follow up, when you said, I wish, is, is that about your relationship with him or because of what you think he could, he could bring to this team? <laughs> it's definitely a relationship. <laughs> you know, just relationship and knowing who he is and what type of player he is.